So I'm going to show you how to transfer everything from an old iPhone over to any iPhone 15. So on this side is my new iPhone 15 Pro Max and I have my old iPhone 14 Pro Max on this side. Some of you might be at the home screen because you pulled your phone out of the box and went through the setup process and you, you know, just wanted to set the phone up and you're at the home screen. You didn't really put anything on the phone. In order to get everything to transfer over from your old phone, you need to be at the hello screen. So some of you may have pulled your phone out of your box and you're at the hello screen. For those of you who are there, just me just a second to show everyone else what they need to do to get to that screen. So what you need to do if you're at this screen and the home screen here, go into your settings and then you want to scroll down, go to general and then scroll to the bottom where it says transfer or reset iPhone. Go in there and click erase all content and settings and just go through this process, continue, erase phone, and I'll be right back as soon as this gets to the screen we need it to be at. So this is the hello screen that we need, we all need to be on in order to do this transfer process. If you guys can plug in your devices. You don't have to, but just make sure they're, you know, fully charged before you get stuck in the middle of a transfer and they turn off on you. But I have mine plugged in. So you want to swipe up on your new phone. Now you should get a pop-up over here. And over here, I'm just going to go to English because that is my language, United States, and continue. And over here, click continue on your old phone. So I did want to update the video real quick before I go to the next steps. If you're on this screen, quick start, you've gotten this far and you still aren't getting a pop-up message on your old phone. What I want you to try to do is go in and make sure your Wi-Fi is on and your Bluetooth is turned on. Then go ahead and press the power button on your old phone and reopen the phone up like that and see if it actually pops up then. So hopefully that helps some of you, if you, like I said, if you gotten this far and you still, I was moving along in the video, but some of you may have been hung up trying to get that to pop up. And then you should get this pattern thing. And what you wanna do is take your old phone and then line that up to that pattern so it can establish its transfer and get things ready. So it's waiting on, waiting for other iPhone, continue on your other iPhone. So you go over here and set up for me and we have to put a passcode in. Okay, so transfer your number. So what's happening here is if you have an older iPhone that has a physical SIM card, and what you wanna do is you're gonna choose transfer from another phone. Uh, even if you have a physical SIM card on your old phone, it doesn't matter. It will transfer and convert that into an eSIM because, but both of these are eSIMs. So the process will go just fine for me. You shouldn't have any trouble there. You don't have to take your SIM card out, leave it in there during this process, you know, it should copy. My setup is eSIM to eSIM. So the one you wanna choose here is transfer from another iPhone. Transfer your phone number. Yes. Confirm. Yes. And then it wants you to confirm the transfer over here by double clicking on your old phone. It pretty much walks you through exactly what you need to do. And it'll take a couple of minutes here to activate. And during this process, you might get some pop-ups. Just click OK. If any of you get any pop-ups about updating the new phone, definitely do the update on the new phone. Don't tell it save for later. Do the update right away. OK, you'll come to this screen, cellular setup complete. So my number is now active on this phone, and it will probably deactivate on this phone, on the old phone. But as far as the new phone, we'll just go ahead and continue. continue Continue. Now face ID, you can set that up now if you'd like. I'm gonna choose to do that later. And here where it asks to transfer your data, okay? Download from iCloud or transfer from iPhone. If you choose to download from iCloud, you're only gonna get put on this phone what is in iCloud. And what I mean by that is on your old phone, you have lots of options to back up to iCloud and some of them you can turn on and off. So if you want every single thing from your old phone over to your new phone, you wanna do the transfer from iPhone option. If you were just setting this up, you could probably choose the download from iCloud. Not everybody uses iCloud. I would rather see, for those of you who are watching, be able to get every single thing from your phone over to the new phone. So this will help those who might not even use iCloud. So transfer from iPhone. And it does show here that we can customize, make this your iPhone. Of course, we're gonna choose continue, but if you choose customize, I think you can select, basically here's everything set up for you like it was on your other phone. I'm not changing anything because I want everything to come over. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Again, click continue, turn on location services. I can set up Siri later. This here's your emergency SOS. You can turn that on and off. You can go into settings and look at that later if you want. I think it's on automatically. So here's a software update. You wanna do any updates right away. Okay, so mine just finished doing that software update. This process could take you guys an hour or it might take you guys 15 minutes. Moving along here after updating the iOS, 
it says preparing to transfer. And then you should see this screen here, transferring data from iPhone. Okay, transfer complete on old phone. The new phone is restarting. Okay, restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. So now it's just gonna walk through all the setup stuff like you're just going through setting a new phone up, which I'm gonna go through quickly and set up most of this stuff later. Okay, so I had to do a verification code and I had to do it from this phone over here. You just have to go in and put the code in. My Apple Watch was also buzzing, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, set that up later because this video is for the phones. Or you could, you know, if you have the Apple Watch, you could set yours up now. Continue. I'll do the action button stuff later. All right, welcome to iPhone transfer complete. This one gives you the option to erase it right now. If I was you guys, I would not do that right away. Just click not now. You can do that later. Every single thing is still the same on this phone. All your data, everything like that, but it was simply copied over during the transfer. So let's go on here and look at this one. So there they are identical. And what it's doing is it's downloading in the background. And here's the other thing. Apps that get copied over, the data within apps, like WhatsApp, say like your bank app that you use on your old phone. When when those get copied over to a new phone or new device like this, what happens is sometimes it's going to require your passcode or two-step verification again because they are recognizing someone trying to log in on a new device. They don't recognize it as this device anymore. So you're going to need to put your passcode in for some of them, but most of them should be working just fine. If you look over here on this old phone, it says SOS. That's because it deactivated automatically the eSIM and now it's activated over here on on my new phone. So go ahead and use your new phone for a few hours, go through all your apps, check your pictures, your documents, all that stuff. I'm an iCloud user, so this process works really good for me. I sync to iCloud. Go through, make sure you got all your stuff. Then you can come over on your old phone and you can go ahead and factory reset that, which I'll probably do another video on that. So keep your eyes open for that video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button or share it and subscribe if you guys want to. That helps out the channel and allows me to keep creating helpful content forever. Everyone. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.